Holy God. Taff, shoot him. Hello, YouTube. I am Lightly Salted, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to the continuing adventures of the U-Boat in U-Boat. As you'll recall from the last episode, we had recently completed our first patrol, and we've set back to port to uh, re-engage with our supply system. Now, where we've started here in 1943, we have several more options that ordinarily are in the yellowed, this will take much, much longer group. Personally, I'm very interested in uh, upgrading our hydrophone, so I believe that's what I'm going to lean into. And of course, we'll take the opportunity now to upgrade the ship. We will be upgrading our hydrophone all the way up to the GHG Balkan. I suppose checking into our available upgrades is something I should have done when I began the uh, campaign. Uh, it seems we had already had certain aspects unlocked. I'm going to have to take a look at that. How about our radio? We currently have access to radar. Let's go ahead and get some. We have access to snorkels. Let's go ahead. So anybody out there that's decided to start in a new um, year, make sure you check on your boat because you could be just outfitted to the nines already. We'll go ahead and uh, outfit our two 20 millimeter double barreled AA guns. Fantastic. I really wish I had checked on this earlier. We're going to have quite the boat here momentarily. Taff, you're not wearing your dapper helmet. Where's your helmet, Taff? Taff? Put your helmet on, Taff. Alright, at this point we should pick up a mission. We've got espionage at Portsmouth Harbor, which would pick us up a radio operator, which would be fantastic. We could patrol Sector AL in the North Atlantic. The um, shipping lane should be fairly decent here. CG was a bit of a bust for us last time, so we're going to give that a pass. Um, since we just picked up a snorkel, I see no reason not to try out espionage at Portsmouth Harbor. I'd very much like to have a second radioman, so then I could have one operating the radio and one operating the hydrophone at any given time. So let's go ahead and lock that in. We have one reputation point we could spend, and I believe since we're going to be shooting for an additional officer, we'll go ahead and spend it on increasing our officer limit to six. Fantastic. We'll lay ourselves in a course. All personnel are in all positions. All ahead for. Okay, so we've got to transport a spy to the specified coordinates. We have the option, we have the optional mission to complete the objective at night. And we must maintain Dieter Mayer's cover. He is our spy. That would be this gentleman right here. And apparently he has something to tell us. Dieter Mayer greets Lightly Salted in a very official fashion and explains that he received orders to join crew of U-764 during this assignment. Lightly Salted confirms that they were waiting for him and proceeds to tour him around the ship. Welcome on board. Fantastic. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and throw in some time compression, and with any luck, we'll see you off the British coast. All right, and here we are in the English Channel. Beautiful sunrise on the U-boat. Okay, so our objective is fairly deep into the channel itself. We'll go ahead and lay in a course to approximately this area, and then we will reevaluate as to whether or not we can get there under the cover of darkness to complete our optional objective. Since night has fallen, I think this is a fantastic time to test out our new snorkel. Mr. Taff, let's go ahead and put up our mast. Oh, and there she goes. And we'll dive down to periscope depth. All right, we've got propeller noise ahead, and it is also about 4 a.m. I do not believe we will make it to our objective uh, under the cover of darkness. Um, 
I'm concerned that attacking anything will give away Mr. Mayor's cover. It may be beneficial to us to try to give our target a pass. We'll have to find out about that. And it's a U-boat. <laughs> Alright. We'll go ahead and alter course slightly. We may try to wait the day out underwater. Well, that's odd. We are suddenly using the electric engines. Why are we not using the diesels? As per... Okay. Alright, it seems when the waves cover the snorkel's exhaust, we switch over to battery. Perhaps if I had community improve our depth keeping, that may prevent that from happening as much. Mm, no. No, it doesn't. Hmm. The concerning issue is, is that it keeps cutting off our oxygen randomly. Huh. Okay. So depth keeping isn't going to help me there. Okay, we'll carry on. Alright, I'll stop. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. We do not appear to have any neighbors. Perhaps we'll keep creeping forward. I do want to complete this mission under the cover of darkness, however. I think we'll hold position here and wait the day out. Uh, Mr. Quebec, go ahead and get your head down, please. Skipper, you keep uh, trying to keep an eye out, I suppose. And we'll burn through the day. Alright, we're under the cover of darkness at this point. I think we're going to go ahead and increase speed and uh, take our little spy friend to his uh, assigned area. Oh dear. Okay. We've talked a couple times about the, the uh, detection issues in this game. I should have seen this coming miles away. My hydrophone range alone, not including my visual range, this should have been no issue for us. Okay, how much depth is under keel? 17 meters. We're going to go ahead and drop down to 15. Skipper, let's get that uh, periscope put away. Taff, blue lighting please. We could be under for a while. With any luck that we haven't been spotted. We've got to get real quiet real fast. Okay, we have a Corvette and three, four fast attack craft. With any luck, they're not alarmed. Okay, we are currently making 94 decibels of noise. Uh, community, can we switch to manual steering, please? Taff, let's kill the gyro compass. And back to navigation. Let's try to conserve battery while we can. Alright, we've got ourselves into a sticky situation here. Only time will tell. Our sonar detectability is sitting at 19%. Uh, surface disturb disturbances are giving us a minus 3, but the fact that we're pretty much lying on the bottom is giving us a minus 80 in our favor. With any luck, she will not pick us up. She does not appear to know we're here. Okay, once these uh, fast attack craft get out of our way, we uh, will try to complete our obje objective here. Whoa, 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 skipper, 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 that should be hidden. Get yourself back to bed immediately. That is the danger of the new systems. The skipper jumped on the uh, periscope, and even though it is set to hidden, I got sight for a moment, which tells me the periscope was raised above the waterline. Skipper, I swear by all that is good in the world, if you do not stay in your bed... Okay, they are passing us by. Wow, that's close. That is close. We are 80 meters from that ship. These do not appear to be outfitted with um, sound capture devices. I think we're going to try to go ahead and begin sneaking forward as we are in their baffles, and we will come to 10 meters. I think we're going to have to risk periscope depth here. I should put the snorkel down, but I'm not. I'm not doing it. I want air. Okay, engines all stop, please. Concerned about this. 
This appears to be a torpedo boat. It has two torpedoes. Um, possibly a machine gun post. That is definitely a torpedo boat. We are 1% visible due to our hull. We're getting a 60% uh, in our favor due to the time of day, it being dark, and 7% more due to it being cloudy. Okay, Red, get yourself down. Community, onto the depth steers, please. We're getting very close to completing this objective, and I'd very much like to do that. We'll go ahead and increase speed. I don't think there's any chance that this boat can hear us. Okay, we are running on diesels. We are refilling with air. How close to this mark do I have to get? Apparently very close. Okay, seriously. All right, here we go. Now we can leave. Let's get... Oh dear. Okay, getting out of here might be a little more difficult than getting in was. Skipper, what do we got from BDU? All right, infiltrate Portsmouth Port. Our spy, Dieter Mayer, communicated to us that his target in Portsmouth Port is heavily guarded. His mission is top priority for us and has to be aided at all cost. Your order is to prepare any kind of diversion near the port to draw port defense's attention. So HQ wants us to make noise. And we've got a Corvette coming directly toward us. Okay, let's take stock. Um, we're definitely not going to be putting up the snorkel. Skipper, let's go to blue lighting. Speed back down to one, and we're going to hope for the best. We're going to alter course here. Try to get out of her path as best we can. Oh my. Okay, we're going to lay her down. Let's get down to uh, 15, and I'll stop please. And that should put us pretty much on bottom until these boats pass us by. Okay, the Corvette has gone past. One, two. Two of the smaller ships. We're going to wait until we get some distance on them, and then we'll kick up the engines again. Skipper, get off the periscope. Get off it. Skipper, you can use the hydrophone if you really, really need to be doing something right now. Let's try to get to uh, our objective here. Skipper, please, 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 please stop. If anybody out there knows how to prevent the Skipper from doing that on his own, please tell me. The game's been driving me just a wee bit batty lately. Now, I wonder, how close to the port do I have to be for it to be considered a, um, a ruckus for them? Skipper, why don't you hop on the radio for me and radio in that, po that uh, coastal patrol? All right, those ships are acting very strangely. Are they colliding? Wow. Interesting. It did say in the vicinity, right? Near the port. Near the port. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, now we have a new objective to draw the attention of the port defenses. Would that be these folks here, I wonder? They're all suddenly lit up. I would imagine it has something to do with it. Okay, let's do that then. Mr. Quebec, a quick nap. Captain, on to the big ears. Mr. Unity, yep, might as well start prepping them torps. My thought is we get ourselves out here into open waters and just start firing torpedoes at things. See if we can really make them mad. All right. I say we do something about this Corvette. What to do? Do we try to get a torpedo at her while we zip to safety? She's probably going to change directions and stuff on us. We don't have much water. We couldn't um, pop up and use the gun and dive. That wouldn't work. Okay, I'm going to try to get a bearing on this uh, Corvette. She's moving incredibly slowly. It might be worth taking a shot at her. That'll certainly wake up the port defenses. Okay, she's doing 111. Skipper, jump on the useless um, 
attack periscope for me. We might be able to see her if we're very sneaky about it. Skipper, let's get that scope up. You've been dying to use it. Um, red. Could you change this to red? So I can see what I can see. Alright, we've got a target. We know she's a uh, flower class. We'll recognize her, and I'm going to do my best to get a speed check. I don't think she's moving. This ship is not moving. I'm going to put her in a zero. Uh, 111. Tell me we've got a torpedo. Tell me we've got one torpedo warmed right now. I wasn't thinking about it. Alright, let's get a bearing, or a distance, sorry. Alright, let's uh, say right about there. And we don't have a single torpedo ready. Okay. That ship is moving. That ship is most assuredly moving. Why does she look like she's not? Okay, she's moving again. Barely. Glad I had to warm up that torpedo. We would have missed. Okay. Got a torp yet? Fantastic. Let's load it up and get it gone. Fire. Skipper, show me my target. Tell me we're going to hit it. It looks like she sped up. It looks like she sped up. Yeah, we missed her. Okay. New plan. Taff, I want the snorkel down. Skipper, I want the periscope down. And we're going to pop out of the water and start shooting like a bat out of hell. That's my plan. It's a terrible plan. I don't recommend it. But that's what we're going to do. Alright, folks, bring us up. This is a really bad plan. Get on the flat gun. Skipper, you too. We're just going to put him in manual mode. Go for it. Whoa. They're getting pretty close. I just heard a torpedo. I just heard two torpedoes. Change. We might die right here now. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be the end. I don't know what in God's name the skipper is shooting at. Have we engaged the port defenses yet? Well, we didn't get torpedoed. Got her. We got her. Oh, there's a Corvette and she's mad at us. Skipper, give me back that gun. We've got incoming shells. Whatever is shooting at us is pretty good at it, actually. What's out there? Load up some SS and find out. Holy God! Taff, shoot him! I think she's trying to ram us. Oh dear. Okay, that one's going down. That one's going down. Okay, we've got 23 meters of water under the keel. It still says draw the attention of the port defenses. Did we not do that? I feel like we did that. We need deep water. Okay, those are getting really close. 
Okay. Um, that was a thing that we did. I think it was silly. Um, and I don't even think it completed our mission for us, but we did it. Incoming. What are we making for speed? 17 knots. It's probably the best we can hope for. Let's keep moving, though. They're gaining on us. They are definitely gaining on us. All right. Let's put her down to Periscope. Mr. Red, you jump off, please. You've done a fantastic job. Community, onto the engines. Let's keep our speed high. Mr. Quebec is operating the valves for us. Thank you. Taff, I need you on the navigation station. We're going to get lost. And we need to make open water real quick, like. Okay, it's deeper in this direction. That's the direction we're going to head in. Woo! That was something. And under we go. I think they've lost us. All right, folks, I am going to lay us in a course to get home. That was a silly thing to do. It was fun, though. All right, let's get this Molly crew home. Well, folks, we made it. Uh, that was an interesting engagement. <laughs> I'm wondering if uh, if that counted towards the mission. Mission, I don't think it did. Uh, deeply impressed. Okay. So we didn't appear to get anything from that. Did we get that new officer? No. Well, that's disappointing. That was sort of the whole point. I thought uh, transporting the spy was enough to get the officer. Well, I guess not. Apparently, drawing the attention of the port defenses means something more than just the ship's marked port defenses. I guess I must have had to roll in and possibly have um, stationary guns at the port shooting at us, something to that vein. Um, okay. Definitely something to bear in mind for next time. Stay tuned for the continuing adventures of the U-Boat. And until then, I've been lightly salted. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.